what is all about capitalism and Buddhism? We know. Generally, when we talk about capitalism, we are talking about people, same as Buddhism. But the priority of these two things are totally apart. When we say capitalism, we always put profit before people. Although Adam Smith didn't say that, though. Adam Smith always trying to compromise that it is true we need capitalism, but it has to be regulated by the rule of law. It has to be regulated by humanity. But unfortunately, this doesn't develop as he designed. We are the result of capitalism, which was the negative capitalism we are living in. And we are suffocating it. We are breathing in, although we don't want it. Here is the answer, which is from the other side of the world, saying the same thing, in fact. Buddhism is saying that we have to live a life. We can live a life of a poverty. We can live a life of a scarcity. We need to have everything what we want. But at the same time, our desire, our need shouldn't overpower the people, the planet, not a profit. Profit is a part of the way we can develop, but we should not prioritize the profit. This is what Buddhism is all about. How do you make that capital work? This is uh, my newest diagram, which I came out with, is the how do we tackle capitalism? The basically, in the circle is the SCP. For someone who is working in the sustainable brand, you might know that the late king of Thailand, King Pumipon Adulayadeh, his legacy was sustainable, sufficiency economy uh, philosophy. But in fact, the sufficiency economy philosophy is a simple, what they call is 3M in the beginning. The first S, sufficiency, means that uh, you have to moderate. You should not go beyond your desire. You just try to find your life a kind of a, a balance. That is sufficiency. The second is economy. Economy, we should go back to the, look at the etymology of economic itself. I guess that everyone knows that the economy is not the economy as Adam Smith defined. The economy in the original sense was the management of a household, is the management of our life, is the managing how we survive, how we breathe in and breathe out. So the very second part of the E economy is how to live wholesome life, the happy life. The third is philosophy. Philosophy is all about rationality. It's about the balancing, the act, what we live in our daily life. So if you carry it on, this kind of a idea of SCP, then you can see that you can turn that into eight different activities in your life, starting from sustainable perceptions, thought, communications, action, livelihood, mindfulness, determination, and so on. Then, only then, the all 17 goal of SDG will be a sustainable one. Otherwise, we call sustainable development, it's become oxymoron. Because sustain means that stopping, making permanent. For a long time, the whole idea of a development is changing. The word changing. So what do you mean by sustainable development? Changing or stealing? But we put these two words together as oxymoron to make it more influence because what we need is that how do we balance as a sustain means uphold? How do we uphold everything with the reality of humanity? <laughs>